Hello! Hey strangers! How's it going? It's Jaypo here. Um, happy Thursday. <laughs> Long time no see, right? So um, I'm here today. I'm gonna paint for you guys just a little bit. I got a little bit of time. I'm trying to get this little thing pinned right here. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Um, hey, it's been a long time since I've been on here. So as you jump on, y'all let me know where you're, where you're watching from because I want to know. Um, but hey, j -Po, if you're new to my page, welcome. I'm j -Po. I'm the owner and artist here of The Purple Posy. I'm a content creator for Dixie Bell. I'm also a coach, a business coach and a mentor. I have a private membership group called uh, Painting Over Borders. Uh, if you didn't know that. Yeah, co-own that with uh, Mustard Tree Market, Malia Klein and Mustard Tree Market. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. We teach all the things, all things social media. Uh, we have challenges, we have guest artists. We do all the things. We do all the things over there. So, um, am I on my business page? Ooh, yeah, I think I am, okay. Just wanted to make sure. So, um, welcome. And today, so yesterday I started this piece, or actually didn't start it, but I painted this piece live on the Dixie Bell page, and I wanted to jump on my um, business page and paint for you guys, because it's been about 17 years since I've been on here, roughly, and painted for you guys. And I have a little bit of time before I have to go get the kiddos from band camp. Oh, hey, Malia, I just mentioned your name. I just name dropped. Sure did just name drop. Um, gotta go pick up the kiddos from band camp. So I thought I would jump on here and paint just a tad bit. Show y'all what, what I'm doing. So I'm painting this little buffet behind me. It's got this beautiful detail. Um, if you don't know, I recently quit corporate America. Mm, I did, I quit my full-time job of 12 years. And I am all in, I'm full-time the Purple Posy. And I, um, I'm getting my studio all set up because this is my workspace. This is my, this is my place. So I'm painting this beautiful buffet behind me. This is going to be in my studio. This is going to hold all of my sanding sponges and applicator pads and waxes and all the Dixie Bell products that I have and all the things that I use on my, on my, on must haves. And so I wanted to make it pretty and I wanted it to reflect my style. So I have the hashtag boho like JPO. Hashtag boho like J-Po. And so I do a lot of like boho blending. Um, I do a lot of like peekaboo color pops on my pieces. So I wanted to incorporate that. Also, I wanted to kind of pay homage to one of the first pieces that I painted with Dixie Bell paint. I think it was like maybe the second piece I painted was a piece painted in muscadine, muscadine wine and rebel yellow. My favorite color is purple. So I'm using a yellow muscadine wine and aubergine, which is my favorite paint color of Dixie Belle paint, and I'm using it on this piece. So it's kind of, you know, kind of all rolls in. This piece will forever remind me where I started, where I came from, it's me. Does that make sense? I'm getting all mushy here. That's enough of that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys today. I've completed here back, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it here. So what I've got here is, um, I've got the base coat of Muscadine Wine, which is a very, nope, not, not that, Aubergine, which is a very, let me turn this down, I'm like super bright. Um, <clears throat> it's a very deep purple color, and it's, it's, almost a, it's almost a blue, blue purple, I guess you would say. Uh, it's very, very deep, and it's my favorite. Hey, Kelly, long time no see, friend. Um, in the little crevices here is kernel mustard. It's a very bright yellow color. It's, it's a, probably the brightest yellow that, or deepest yellow that Dixieville offers. And I just took like a little French tip brush and just kind of mushed it in there. So I'm gonna paint over the detailing with the, the, with the purple and the muscadine wine, but the little bit of that yellow is gonna pop through and kind of peek through a little bit. And then we're gonna blend, we're gonna blend over it. And that's all I'm gonna do to it, and then I'm gonna seal her up and call her good. Uh, doing well, doing really well. Things are going really well here, thank you for asking. So let's just get started. So before I start, I always wet my brush a little bit. I wetted it while I was talking to you guys. I have my handy dandy Mr. Bottle here that I always have with me next to my, next to me. 
Um, now you want some wine? Why no? It's too early, Malia, it's too early. I tell you this every time at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's too early for wine. Um, also, I pinned there for you guys the, the colors that I'm using today. Also a link where you can purchase the products. And every time you use that link, it helps my small business and I appreciate you when you do use it. Okay, so let's do this little section here. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to blend. Blending is very uh, intimidating for a lot of people. It's so easy. It's so easy, guys, I promise you. Turn this down some more. I really want you guys to see the true color of the piece. If I'm washed out, it's whatever. I don't care. It's whatever. All right, so base coat of aubergine. I'm just gonna mist it, just to mist it a little bit. Shake my paint up, and we're gonna go to town. What has everybody been up to? So, like I said, it's been about 17 years since I've been on here. I apologize. So I have, I mentioned earlier, I have a, um, a membership group, Painting Over Borders with Malia, Master Tree Market. We are wrapping up a challenge this month. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know SK on Elderberry. She was a fantastic artist. Um, she passed away last month. And so we did a challenge this month in honor of her. You know, we're wrapping that up, and Malia and I are um, <clears throat> working on some other things for the group. Um, trying to launch that here pretty quick. So we've got some exciting things going on over there. So we've been super busy. Also, I started a blog. Um, you know, the kids are home, so there's that. And. Yeah, I've been trying to do all the things. So it's been super busy here, which is fantastic. Business is, business is great. So what I'm doing, I'm just getting another coat of the aubergine on here. And we're gonna keep it wet. We're gonna keep the paint wet. So I'm gonna spritz again, not too much, not too much. You just wanna keep it wet. I should have had this open. This is muscadine wine, it's a beautiful, no, Kelly, I quit my job. I My last day at my full-time job was June 12th. 12 years I was there and I quit in the middle of a pandemic. Hmm. I wrote a blog. I started a blog. I wrote a blog about it, why I quit, how I made the decision, all the things. If you want It's on my website if you want to check it out. Okay, so I literally put about that much of the wine color. Hmm. My kids are super quiet. Yeah, they are. Uh -huh. Malia and I talk daily, and she's like, oh my God, you gotta send your kids somewhere. <laughs> so you saw how much I put on my brush. I'm just gonna go in and just start blending. There is a glare. I can't really see. Uh, I'm gonna start blending, and I don't put much because you can always go back in and add, which I'm gonna do, and I don't switch brushes because I'm using so little paint I'm using so little paint, I don't worry about switching. And I'm taking paint out of the lid. So when I'm painting and blending, I use the side of the paintbrush and I hold it kind of like this. Sorry, I got a phone call. Don't know who that was. Um, and I just go back and forth and I'm blending. So I can see there's kind of a glare. I can see where it's blending over here. I can always do this if I want to bring it down and kind of feather it down. If you feel your paintbrush start to drag, you can miss the piece or you can miss your brush, either way. But you've gotta keep your paint wet. Okay, so we're just gonna, eh, there. And then I'm gonna add just a teeny tiny bit here, here-ish. I'm not trying to make the, um, I'm not trying to make it match what's going on over here on the other side. Um, I'm not even looking. I don't want it to match. It's super boho and it doesn't need to be symmetrical. I don't want it to be. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little kind of dry brushing over this, cover up a little bit of that yellow. I just want a little bit poking through just a tiny bit, I don't want it too much. But thank you, Kelly, appreciate you. 
Um, and then that's good. That's all I want to do in that drawer. Just a couple of swooshes of the wine, blend it in, and we're good to go. Let me check this side. Okay, and we're gonna move on to the next drawer. Now, when you're doing this and you're wetting your piece, so if I were to spray this and I got a little bit crazy with my water, the water would come up here and it would leave like little droplets, which you may not want. Okay, you'd have to go back over it. Gosh, y'all can't even see that. Y'all can see what I just did. Which you may not want. So, in order to avoid that, what you can do, like I just showed you a minute ago, is you can wet your brush instead of your, um, instead of your piece. So what I'll do, to show you guys, is I'll go ahead and load my brush up, right? And then I'll spray. I'll spray the brush pretty good. And then I'll apply it on the piece. That way, I don't have the little water droplets on the drawer above or below or whichever way you're working. And that just makes it a little bit more easier to control your, your spray. I hope that makes sense. Because Dixie Bell paint self seals and self levels. You, um, it won't reactivate with the water, but it will leave those little droplet marks. It's super, like, it's very subtle, but it's still there. So if I was using like a vinegar water technique, it would not bother me at all whatsoever. But since I'm going with kind of a, um, what's the word? Not flawless, but a real smooth blend. I don't want that. I don't want that look. So <clears throat> right now I'm just kind of drying my brush off, cleaning the brush off with the paint with that aubergine. And we're going to go in with the wine. Again, this is how much I'm putting on here. My goodness. Um, holy moly. What's going on? I'm going to spritz it. And then we're going to go, let's just go right here. We'll go right here. We're not thinking about it. We're not overthinking. We're just going, right? We're just going. It's the beauty of boho. Boho blending. You just go. You don't overthink it. You just go. Okay, now, so since I've got kind of two up here, one down here, I'm just going to add a little bit on my brush, teeny tiny bit, there on the, on the edges. Thank you, Malia. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to kind of add some on the side. Kind of bring it on over here. Okay, and maybe I could do the same right here-ish. When I'm done, before I jump off, I'll bring you guys in close and show you what we've just done. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush off again. It's still got a lot of that muscadine wine. So it's gonna be a little bit more of the wine color here, which works perfectly since I didn't put a whole lot on the drawer but it's covering up some of that yellow. And we're done there, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Well, I have to be. Like I said earlier, I, I have a group. And so Malia and I make a fantastic duo. Um, we have an amazing tribe. We've been up a year and eight months now. We have an amazing tribe. We've got a good thing going. Uh, I love our group so much. So let's move on. If you're interested, actually while I'm on the subject, if you're interested in our group, um, you don't have to own a business to be in the group. You, if you just want to, you just want to learn how to paint and learn new techniques. We've got, we've got all different kinds of artists in there. Um, you don't have to have a business per se to, to be in there. But if you're interested. You can um, check out my website. There's a there's a spot on there, a tab on there for membership group. Check it out. Read all about it. It's $28 a month. You can cancel any time. Really a kind of a great bargain. And there's so much information in there um, to start off with. And you know what? You could join just wanting to learn how to paint. And you may end up a full-time business owner. You just never know what to happen. Oh no. Okay, so we've got that on there. 
Now you guys see how fast this is going? You see how fast it's going? It's really not that difficult. I really try to encourage a lot of people to, what I tell our group members is get like a cabinet grade piece of plywood. Is it plywood? Yeah, plywood. Something smooth. Keep it in your studio, your garage, whatever your workspace is. It's just paint. It's just paint. You can paint it, you can paint it over, you can sand it down, you can start all over again, you can do whatever you wanna do, but get a piece of board Get a couple of colors, just start off with two if you wanna learn how to blend or ombre or do whatever, and just practice. It just takes practice. It will not, thank you, Malia, it will not, um, it will not take you long, I promise you. And Dixie Belle paint makes it so easy. I'm telling you, it's so easy. All right, again, just a little bit. Let's come down here. And I'm going sideways. You see how I'm going sideways to apply it? And I'm coming down on the drawer separators and then I will go flat uh, with my brush to feather it out and stay over there baby hi I got my little assistant Olivia here with me today all the big kids are at band where you where'd you go I don't know where she went. Um, and then we'll come up here. We'll come up here and blend. I can feel my, my paint dragging, so I'm going to wet my brush pretty good. If you feel your brush dragging a little bit, that's when you know your paint's drying up. You can hear it and you can feel it. Okay, so I've got that there. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on the side like I did over there. But come down a little bit. Let's add here. And you just keep working it. You just keep working it, you keep working it, you keep working it until you get it where you want it. Now if you get too much, if you don't like it, it's too heavy. If I got too much right there, all I'd have to do is just dip back into the aubergine. I could let it dry just a little bit. Dip back into the aubergine, go right over it. Or I could, while it's wet, go back in with the aubergine. I mean, I could show you. I could go back in with the aubergine and cover it up. I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but it covered it up pretty well, and it just looks a little bit less of a blend, if that makes sense. I liked it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more. This is really just gonna show you the process. You just, you keep working it until you get it where you want it. So I just go add some more, and then I just say, okay, that's good. I love it, that's where I wanted it. I feather it out on here, pull that color out, and that's good. Get some on this column here, you guys can see. Mm. Let's see. Find my, your hobby house. Oh, awesome! getting a little hobby house there that's fantastic yeah I was super excited when we moved when we bought this house to get out of my garage and have my own studio space because it makes a ton of difference okay last drawer and then actually I'll show you down here so when I was live on the Dixie Pell yet uh, page yesterday I was I showed them how you can actually blend these two colors over the detailing you don't necessarily have to have a flat surface so let's do this drawer real quick. And I'll show you guys. Real quick like. Just getting the paint on there. You don't have to go a certain way, just get it on there and then you can smooth it out. So the good thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, the good thing about um, using a lot of water is you eliminate the brush strokes, which there are not a lot. I've noticed when you use a synthetic brush, there's really not a whole lot of brush marks or brush strokes. Plus Dixie Belle paint doesn't really leave a whole lot anyways. Got a dog hair. Um, that's what I love about, the, about Dixie Belle paint. And if you want a lot of texture, they make something called sea spray that you can add to it, it's an additive. 
Hi, baby. That um, can give you the texture that you want. So you have the option. What, baby? Yeah, but just yeah, bring it in and just be quiet. Um, so you have the option to do that. All right, let's go here. I want this one to be a little heavy, actually. Let's do a little heavy, a little heavy blend. I'm gonna feather it up and down. These, these flat minis are so, everybody has their own style and their own way of blending, but for me, these flat minis makes it, make it so, 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 so easy. I'm gonna come up here and do a little bit on this top uh, corner. And I'm just, first I'm gonna pull it out from that corner and then I'll blend this way. So again, don't be intimidated by the blending. It's really not as hard as you think. It's just really just working the paint back and forth. Make sure you're keeping it wet. I was telling everybody yesterday, my biggest mistake when I first started was getting too much paint on my paintbrush of the color that I was blending into the existing paint. That's the biggest thing you gotta watch for and practice on is um, how much paint you're using. Turn it down please, baby wherever you went. That's the biggest thing you've got to um, watch for is how much paint you're using. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna hit this little lip here. Baby, turn it down. You gotta turn it down. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. Um, I'm going to, just real quick, I'm going to take, this is the Muscadine wine. Hey, Laurie. And I'm going to just kind of go over this detailing a little bit. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit of color. And blend it in. Just, just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And I'll worry about the front when I go when I move over to the side. I'm just more worried about what I can see here. All right, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys down here how easy it is to actually blend. You can get a blend over your detailing. It is totally possible. I'm gonna show you guys real quick and I'll let you go. So we're gonna do the same, we're gonna treat it the same as a drawer. Totally gonna treat it the same as a drawer. Go in with our paint. I hope you guys can see because that's as far down as my little thing will go. We'll cover up a little bit more of that yellow. Okay. We're just getting it wet, basically. That actually covered really good down here. Really didn't need a second coat. I'm gonna worry about the feet later. Okay, so that's really wet. Now, I'm gonna take, like I did the drawer, a little bit of paint. Are they asking some good questions? Kelly, no, the, the synthetic brushes are actually better for brush marks. They, they are actually really, they leave very minimal brush mark or brush strokes. 
Okay, so I'm just painting, I'm ignoring the fact that there are, there's detailing here. I'm just completely ignoring the fact that there's detailing. And I'm just going straight in like I would a drawer and I'm just painting it. Now right here, there's like a little lip. So I'll just kind of feather that in and keep going. But I'm completely ignoring the fact that there is detailing there and I'm just painting. And you'll be able to see when I bring you guys in close how right here and right here it's blended in. And I'm gonna do a little, we'll do a little right here. And let's just hit this right here. Got a little bit too much, so I'm gonna add a little bit of aubergine. But do you see how I'm treating it just like a, door, a drawer? I'm not even, I mean, I'm literally just feathering it like a hat, like I would a drawer. And it's blended in. That's actually perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, hey, Amber. Hey there, stranger. All right, I'll bring you guys in close, let you see, um, especially that blend over the detailing. Let me grab this right here. A little bit too much yellow. Let me fix that later. But let me show you guys. Okay, this is what I really want to show y'all. Let me get down on my belly. Can y'all see? Let's see, get a good angle. Can y'all see right here where it goes over? I don't know if y'all can see that real well. Where it goes over, like right here, and it's blended into that top, that top of that, uh, whatchamacallit thingy-majigger? It's blended in. And also here, uh, here, don't pay attention to my nails. Don't be jealous of my nails because my four-year-old, she gave me a manicure, okay? She gave me a manicure. Don't be jealous. Um, but it's blended in right there as well, right over that detailing. So easy to do. You just treat it like a flat surface. But here's the drawers that we did. Let me get one. Uh, I got my windows open, so it might be hard to tell. Can y'all see those blends? A little bit of that detailing. I find a good spot. You can see some of that muscadine wine right there. Yeah. Thank you, Malia. I think that's that's it. That's what I wanted to show y'all. So again, I got all the products listed out for you guys that I use. Thank you, Amber that I used um, on this piece, so just three colors. You can use that link to purchase the colors, have them shipped right to your door. When you use the link, it helps my small business and I appreciate it so much. If you want more information about my private membership group, um, go to my website. I think Malia uh, posted the link there for you guys. It's just 28 bucks a month. Like I said, we're wrapping up um, a challenge this month that we did in honor of SK on elderberry if you don't know who that is look her up she was an amazing artist that passed away in june late june i believe um and we've got some things in the work millie and i do for our members to how should i say it recognize their achievements we'll just say that recognize their achievements um so anyways if you're interested or you can just hit me up and ask me some questions and i'll be happy to answer them Thanks for joining. I hope you learned a little something. Um, and I'll try to get on here again very, very soon and paint for you guys more and more often now that I'm home. Now that I'm home more often. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay?